Hi friends, happy Sunday night. Tomorrow is a big day. If you're starting gut protocol with us, I'm so pumped. And if you are not, I'm gonna post this in multiple places, okay? So if you're all in, cool. And if you're not, that's fine too. It's still the perfect opportunity for you to realign, to you, for you to refocus, to create a new promise that you're gonna choose to cultivate and keep as we go into April. Well, we're already here, but you know what I mean? So I figured I would give you a few, like, you know, a behind the scenes look at how I'm prepping on this Sunday night. I've already taken a shower. I'm in my pajamas <laughs> at five o'clock. I'm like, let's go. I'm ready for bed. Okay, so I don't meal prep. Um, that robs me of my joy and I don't like doing it. But I am getting some things prepped. Um, I found a sugar, a pretty clean pork loin recipe for pulled pork. And so I made that today and I just shredded it. I have it in a Tupperware. The, d the dishes are already clean, yay me. And then I have some broccoli that I steamed, um, some carrots that I mixed. I cut, took baby carrots, I cut them in half. I tossed them with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of balsamic vinegar and some salt. I'm gonna air fry them. I'm doing the same thing with Brussels sprouts. And some can be for tonight's dinner and some can be for tomorrow and the next day. If I have cooked vegetables on hand, I tend to do better with them. Otherwise, I'm just team salad or throw as much spinach <laughs> as I can in my shake. But if, with gut protocol, we're not supposed to be, we're supposed to be eating cooked vegetables the first week, which I think honestly might be a little bit of a hurdle for me. And I might be a honey badger and still just go ahead and have my spinach in my shake. But I'll let you know as we go, okay? So these are just some ideas, right? Like make sure that even if you're using lunch meat, like get some nitrate-free stuff, have it on hand. I'm gonna chop up some tomatoes and some cucumbers and I'm gonna mix that with more balsamic vinegar, a splash of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. If I was eating onion, I would add that. Um, and I'll just keep that in the fridge. That way I have lots of options. You could hard boil eggs if you know that's something that you don't have a sensitivity to. Just having things on hand so that when you are hungry, you're not getting hangry and making not the best decisions, right? Okay, so that's my food stuff. I'm working on all that. As far as tomorrow being a fresh slate, no matter what program you're doing, if you're in the middle of something, if you're starting something new, if you're realigning and recommitting, I hope you are, no matter where you're at. Even if this is a brand new day one, I want you to realign. I want you to take whatever has been your past experience and leave it in the rear view mirror. I talked about this the other day, about how it's okay to look in your rear view mirror. It's okay to see where you were once upon a time. It's okay to see what has happened in the past, what your patterns have been, but it's not okay to drive looking that way, okay? So take, a, take some time, peep the rear view mirror, acknowledge what needs to be acknowledged and then literally fit like literally brush it off brush it off let it go you have a white a white erase board that you can go ahead and just scrub clean okay so what do you need to do what is your promise going to be i'm not asking you to do all the things i know from personal experience that an all or nothing attitude will get you nowhere it will get you nowhere fast it will have you feeling defeated and overwhelmed and then probably eating the gummy bears or the Cadbury mini eggs. And that's not what we want, right? I want you to make a promise to yourself and then to take daily freaking action. If today has been a crap day, I want you to win today. I want you to pick one thing that you can do in this moment, drink some water, move your body, do some jumping jacks, dance in your living room, have a gratitude practice, do something right now today so you can say, you know what? I showed up for myself, okay? That's how we get momentum going into tomorrow. If you put all your eggs into tomorrow's basket, all your eggs into the next program or the next month, you guys, it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna get you nowhere fast. It's gonna have you feeling so depleted and so exhausted and so overwhelmed, and that's not what we're here for, okay? So make a promise to yourself, and then go all in with that promise. I'm gonna drink my water. This is my water, okay? If you struggle with water, this is my hack. You take your current body weight, not your goal weight, not what's on your driver's license, your current weight, you divide that number in half and that amount in ounces is your water goal. To keep things easy, I have this massive, as big as my head ball jar and I fill it either the night before I go to bed or in the morning when I get up and this is how I top off all my water bottles throughout the day. I am very behind, but this was a promise I made to myself. This was a non-negotiable I established for myself. And so if that means I stand over the sink at bedtime and chug and I'm gonna be up 50 times peeing, 
That's what it means. I want you to make that kind of promise to yourself or no matter what. It's not about, there's, there's, it's not about having grace for yourself. There is plenty of times and place for you to have grace on your journey. But if you can't make a simple promise to yourself and then keep it, how are you supposed to accomplish these other goals, okay? Choose what your promise is gonna be. Maybe your promise will be your morning routine. Maybe your promise is gonna be to move in some shape, way, or form every single day. Going for a walk, dancing in your living room, doing some yoga. Like it doesn't have to be the super intense stuff. It just needs to be yours, okay? So make your promise to yourself. What promise are you gonna make? Write it down, put it on a post-it, take a picture of it, make it the screensaver on your phone, put it where your morning coffee is or your tea, on the inside of your fridge, on the inside of your visor, write it on your bathroom mirror, wherever you need it to be, okay? Because you're going to hit a wall and you're gonna have some obstacles and that doesn't mean it's not worth showing up for. It just means that you're human and this is a test and you're gonna pass it this week, okay? So figure out what your promise needs to be Put it out there, you can share it for accountability if you want, and then take the freaking action, sister, okay? So, I shared it this morning on my social media that my morning routine has been kind of slippery. I have been meditating, I have been doing my, listening to my visual, my vision and my affirmations, but then I get on social and I'm, or I'm in my email and I'm scrolling and I'm wasting time. I am wasting the time that I have carved out for myself as my oxygen mask, which makes me feel really gross. It makes me feel reactive. It makes me feel shamey. It makes me feel bad. And then it can kind of set off this whole wheel in motion thing and we're going to nip it in the bud. All right, if you have something similar, you're gonna nip it in the bud. So for me, my promise is to go back to my morning routine. I'm gonna lay everything out the night before. I might even, I'm gonna even lay out my workout clothes. I just told you, okay? I'm gonna lay out my workout clothes the night before and then I have my stack. This is the stack of stuff that I'm recommitting to, okay? It's nothing fancy. My stack doesn't need to be your stack, but I'm giving you an example. So this is just, this is just a notebook and I'm gonna write down five things I'm grateful for and five ways I showed up for myself or five things that proved I showed up as my best self the day before, okay? When you start doing that, when you start logging your book of proof and your book of wins, you show up to your day differently because number one, you're looking for the good, you're already cataloging in your head, how can I shift this? How can I, what can I write about tomorrow, okay? When I do this, it puts me in a much better state as far as gratitude and looking for the good and building my own highlight reel. There's nothing wrong with building your own highlight reel. You have to throw yourself a parade. You have to cheer yourself on. You have me, but there's a whole lot of you and there's only one of me. It's up to us, okay? It's up to us to throw ourselves that parade, to highlight our wins and to sometimes fake it until we make it. There's nothing wrong or gross about that when you're looking for gratitude and looking for ways that you won the day. Examples, I made food to set myself up for success. I went for a walk when I was feeling crabby. I took some time to read. Thank you, rice cooker. Okay, um, what other ways did I show up today? I don't know, plenty of ways. I can't, I can't think of them, but if I force myself to sit down and write five, I will come up with them, okay? Adopt that if you need it. I'm getting my journal back out and I'm just gonna put words on it. Sometimes I overthink it, but I'm just gonna put words on it. So I'm putting this on my, on my, my end table next to my morning chair, okay? I have this book that I love, um, Heart Talk by Cleo Wade. It's just like little, it's poetic wisdom is what it is, okay? And I'll read one of these. I'm getting my affirmation cards back out because these bring me joy and I don't know why I got away from them. So I'm gonna revisit them, putting them where I will see them, setting myself up for success. So in the morning when I'm tired and I don't feel like it, I'm not stumbling around trying to find things. This is setting myself up for success. This is you choosing to have your day start on a winning note, okay? And then the final thing is a brand new book. It's a new month. I said I was gonna read this last month, The Obstacles the Way, and I never even opened it. <laughs> But that's okay. Here we are. It is April. I'm going to start this book. I'm going to read it. I'm going to prioritize reading, you know, five or 10 pages a day. And that's how I'm going to start my day. I'm going to start my day with intention before I plug into other people's agendas, before I start to scroll social media. You guys, 
prioritize your own oxygen mask, prioritize, like protect that time, carve it out, set an alarm on your phone if you need to. Even if it's five minutes, that is five minutes well spent. That is five minutes of you creating the habit, cultivating the mindset, becoming that next level version of you. You already are her, so show up as her, okay? Okay, so cheers, drink your water. <laughs> I'm gonna chug this and there will be lots of peeing in my future and that's okay. It's all right. Doesn't mean I'm too late. You're never too late to begin. You're exactly where you need to be. So take some freaking action. Make yourself that promise as we move into next week. And if you need anything, let me know. If you're in my inbox, I haven't been there today and I probably won't tonight either. Um, I just needed a rest day. So that's what we're doing. Working on rest, okay? But you're okay. Even if you don't have it all figured out for tomorrow, you're okay. Drink your water, eat your vegetables, move your body, Protect what comes into your headspace, okay? Make your promise to yourself and then take the action and show up.